Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, June 10th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Earlier today, I was exchanging emails with a client and he said something that stuck out that I wanted to share with you guys. He said, practice makes progress, which is one of those weird intuitive statements that's simple and profound at the same time. And to that end, it also does a pretty good job of summing up this clip of Chris Bumstead. He hit a seven plate PR on his deadlift a few weeks into his contest prep, which wouldn't have been possible if he hadn't spent so much time practicing the heavy basics during his off season. Eventually everything comes full circle. And if working this stuff back into his program ends up being what gives him that extra 1% edge he needs to make it three straight, all that practice will have been well worth it. I want to stay on that concept of practice making progress for this segment because I think there's another angle to this that's important to cover as well. When people think about practice, more often than not it's probably something physical that comes to mind. But I wanted to point out that greatness is a practice too. And you don't achieve greatness the way Sidney Gillen does without dedicating yourself to the process of progress. You can make the argument that Sid is operating at a higher level than any athlete in the entire industry right now, male or female. And the numbers back up that because she's actually the longest tenured Olympia champion in any division. When she started on this journey a few years ago, the entire landscape of the division was completely different. Yet here she is now surrounded by new faces in new places, still standing alone at the top. And at the end of the day, none of that is possible without the practice of making progress. And that's what this is all about. Figure out the stuff that works, double down on it, and then double down again and let the rest fall into place. It's a super simple formula for success, but it worked for Patrick Moore when he won the Cal Pro a few weeks ago, and it's still working now. If you saw the training clip that he released a few days ago and thought that it just looked like more of the same, that's because it was, and that was the whole point. He knows what he needs to do, so he just goes out and does it without trying to complicate things. It's the shortest distance between two points, which is why you can almost draw a straight line from Cal Pro to the Olympia and already know how this whole thing is going to play out. You know how Instagram will sense certain images so you have to click approve before you can actually see it? Well, they might want to think about doing that for everyone competing in the open class at the IFBB Chicago Pro, because scrolling across some of the Hunter Labrada content might be disturbing to viewers. A few days ago, he released new update photos that were taken by a certain Hall of Fame bodybuilder who happens to share the same last name, where he looked as good as we've seen him at any point in his career. He's big, he's crisp, and he looks the way you'd expect someone with top five Olympia ambitions to look heading into their season debut. The great ones have a way of making it look easy, and there aren't too many people out there who are making it look easier than Hunter Labrada is right now. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.